had to pull over and show you guys this uh, view. I had to go down the road a little bit and do one more video for y'all. This is insane how absolutely beautiful this is. Seriously. Look at this. Okay, it was a little bit too late last night when I got in to show you this, but I made it to uh, my brother's place up here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice little breeze, about 80 degrees. Doesn't get much better than that. Unreal, the size of this lake. already had breakfast and the town was nice and quiet this morning but it's starting to pick up now. Okay I wanted to show you where I'm at today. Today I am uh, in between um, I think it's Trout, Montana and Thompson Falls. This actually might be considered Thompson Falls. I mean these farms are just absolutely gorgeous and the cows out there they've all built their hay and look at these they back up right up the national forest God, unreal can you imagine having a little farmstead or a homestead here ride your horses right up into the mountains go bear hunting elk hunting or just enjoy a nice ride anyway there you guys go thompson falls montana beautiful okay so i stopped in this little town um outside of montana or excuse me outside of paradise montana and you see there's just a little just podunk bar it's the only thing that was available to eat at um anyway of all the places i met a permaculture uh farm owner out of washington and he had some absolutely amazing stuff i can't wait to uh, bring to you guys this next year on our farm uh, just his ideas and experience were phenomenal and again met him in the middle of nowhere in Montana and he's just helping out farms but I'm gonna switch the camera around here real quick and let you guys see this view I mean check this guys check this out guys I mean this is just insane how beautiful this is when you hear people talk about Montana I mean this is what comes to mind this is just the epitome of, of Montana. I mean, just look at that. I'm sure if it was later in the season, you'd probably have elk and deer out in the hills. All right, I went as far as I could. Um, God, it's, the route I went was probably close to a 12 hour drive home. Um, so I just went and got this hotel room, see if you can see. Nothing fancy, just cheap. Um, little town called Deer Lodge, Montana. Uh, anyway, stopped here, grab a hotel. I've got six hours left to drive in the morning, so it should go pretty quick. Um, anyway, just keeping you guys updated. I'm gonna get some shut eye, because I am beat. All right, okay, so here's where we stayed last night. Now it's light, nothing fancy by any means, but you know, it's probably, uh, yeah, it was the only hotel I think in uh, uh, Deer Lodge, Tennessee, or Tennessee, Deer Lodge, uh, Montana. <laughs> so, there's a Deer Lodge, Tennessee that I really like. So, as you see, there's still mountains, uh, kind of right, let's see here, right, where's the camera, Ooh, right back there. Um, definitely not as pretty as majority, or I should say the, uh, what is it, the northeastern part of the state or northwestern sorry so 
But anyways, we uh, we're gonna get back on the road another six hours. My back is killing me. For those of you who don't know, I had a uh, second spine fusion surgery uh, back in December. So the driving's tough, but hey, you know it's fun visiting my brother. It's awesome checking out all these cool farms up here. Uh, absolutely love Montana, but I may just get back home and uh, see my family and uh, see my gardens. So anyways, I'll keep you along for the journey. Well, after the uh, long, exhausting <laughs> drive, I am finally home. So, um, garden looks good. I need to go out and pick some beans, looks like. Horses are good, goats are good. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed.